Hello, konnichiwa, and thanks for joining me for another episode of Sengoku Dynasty. So, in the last episode, we were heading towards uh, Iwasaki, and we come across another construction site for another bridge. So, I spent the night in between episodes filling this up, and set myself uh, set myself to the job here, and. So we should be seeing that built in the next season. I think we're pretty close to. So we're going to continue back along this road now, back past the beggar that we come across last time, and we sold some stuff to him. So we're going to cruise past him and keep going this way. And head towards this big mining town. It's basically a big slave village. Have something to eat on the run. Okay. Now when, as we approach. We get a new quest come up. We can hold down T to track that quest. If you do miss that. You can go into quests here. Go to Secrets of the Trade and track it from here. So now we need to learn about the village by talking to villagers. Gonna pop through here. There's a priestess here. Somewhere. I don't know where she is, that might be her over there, but, uh, okay. Talk to these people. So there's a slave there. Okay, so he's basically telling us to go see the guy that's in charge. Does have more to say. He's told us to go and talk about Dong. And now he's just having a work about, having a word about meditation. Alright, so let's move along. Some guards here. Alright, so we've completed that part of the, the optional part of the quest. About learning about the village from these people, keeping an eye on, so, so should you regard after all. So basically the guy in charge runs this whole place, he owns it, pretty much has his own private army, even though they're just guards, there's a trader here, there's a couple of traders here, this guy is a food trader, talk to him. And they do have a few different, a few different uh, dialogue options. But once you've gone through one, they run away, and you've got to talk to him. Uh, you know. So anyway, we will trade with him. Uh, this stuff is stale, so we're going to sell that to him before it goes bad, and that leaves him with three coins. Sell him a mushroom. Okay, so we sold him one. He's got one coin left. Can't afford any anything else of ours. So these guys are all slaves. He just spoke about the guy that's just out down the road that escaped. Once you've spoken to these... Uh, People hear their names pop up. Couldn't find much to loot around here. This guy's a guard leader. So 
I'm not going to read through all the dialogue. You can pause and read through that if you wish. Uh, there is another trader around here though. This guy. The mining trader. So he sells mining equipment. We can press F. We can catch him with F and trade with him. He will buy food as well. So let's uh, sell him a couple of those. Sell him that fish. We can sell him a couple of eggs. Sell him one mushroom. That's all of his money. He also sells the iron pickaxe. Uh, how much does he want for that? He only wants 20 for that. I do have one. But it's almost worn. I might just buy a secondary one. And then we can... Uh, Sell him a couple more. Sell him a couple more of these eggs and get our money back. So I'm selling the food because food goes bad. So we may as well get something for it. Okay. So now we're going to go and speak to the leader of the village. We can speak to all the other slaves around here. But we're going to head up the top. Up the hill to the uh, to the mansion. There's the mine. We'll go in there a bit later. So we did find an iron pickaxe in the last episode. So if you want to know where to find one, so it was a little bit worn out already, but uh, still, it's a free iron pickaxe. Uh, check out the last episode. So this looks like your typical sort of daimyo abode. Pretty spacious. And got the village owner's wife here. She says come back when you've achieved something. We have some uh, some pretty good yari over here so that one's 85 very disrespectful to touch somebody else's weapons but uh, I'll take them nonetheless let's have a, a word to this guy so not going to read all this out here. Quite welcome to pause it. Basically, said that he's looked after this village for a long time. He respects what we're trying to do, but uh, he's a man of business and he's not willing to give away his secrets of his trade. So there wasn't much else that I could find to loot apart from those Yari. Yeah, we said his wife. No, that's his daughter. And she's basically just saying that he's not he's not as bad as everybody says he is. But I mean, after all, he's uh, he runs a slave village. Yeah, there is a monk around here as well somewhere. Couldn't find any other lootable stuff around here. The sound of something cooking or whatever. There's a monk. 
of a word to him. So he teaches the guy's daughters. I only met one daughter, so maybe there's another one around somewhere. Okay. All right, so let's go and find Dong, who is out the other direction. So these actually, yeah. So these are tatami mats. Um, that one's been used. So these, I've used these myself. Um, in my training, I practice a martial art called Iaido, which is uh, all to do with katanas. And basically, you can see they've just sliced a straight line through those. It's a way to test your cutting ability. So we're just going to cruise back down the hill. And we'll find Dong. Have something to eat on the run. So we're just following our quest marker now. And he should be around here somewhere. Over here there is. Let's have a word. So basically he's uh, said that his village got taken over by pirates and uh, okay so he's willing to teach us if we go and mine some iron luckily for us we've got uh, pickaxe so let's head for the mine which I believe is back the way we came yep under the under the hill there Cruise along here now. You can, there is some iron in here that you can mine with a stone pickaxe, but some of it requires an iron one. So there's a bit of uh, history there by talking to that guy. Alrighty. So I don't know if, uh, I mean, this looks like one of those. Posts where you build a special thing. We'll come through here. Okay, so you're going to find these iron deposits. There's medium ones down here. And there are small ones. The medium ones, you need to have an iron pickaxe to mine them. There's also small ones. It's a medium one. If I can get close enough to it. And I've got enough for the quest. But we're a long, long way from our village. I'm going to grab as much as I can. There's a medium one. So there are small nodes in here. But most of them are further down the end of the mine. Okay, it's nothing in here to loot. Yeah, that's a small one there. That small one we can get with a with a stone pickaxe. So I'll leave that one for for the moment. That's another small one. And when we come here, we've got to crouch down. 
with control. Get under here. Come through the end here and you'll, you will find a whole bunch of small ones here. That's a medium one. This pickaxe is about to break. And it looks like the mine goes further down that way. Now I don't know if these uh, respawn. That just broke the pickaxe. That's a medium one and there's two small ones just in front of it. There's a bunch of small ones. These are all medium ones, so I'm going to gather all these up and I'll be back in a moment. Alright, so I think I've got all the medium ones. And yeah, there's still a bunch of small ones here. I'll save them in, in case we need to come back with a, a stone pickaxe. But uh, I can go down here as well. And there are more down here. So there's small ones there. There's a medium one. Grab that one. There's small ones. There's a medium one. That's a medium one. They're small ones. That's a small one. Just went past a medium one. So this is not a bad haul. We've uh, already got 200. All right. There's another medium one here. Oh, that's stone. We don't want stone. Okay. We get up here. That's stone. Medium iron. A small one. Stone. Medium iron. 140. Uh, stone, stone, medium iron. I don't know if these respawn at all, but I'm thinking later on we'll be able to get our villagers set to mining. That's stone, stone, medium iron. And we're getting flashes of lightning here. Medium iron. We've almost broken our pickaxe. So. Alright. So I don't know if we've got enough to make a stone one do. Let's equip that. Yep, so we need an iron pickaxe for the medium ones. We can get these small ones. That's stone, stone. So I don't know how far this goes. Medium iron. Medium. Small iron. We'll take that. So, I'm going to collect up as much as I can. I don't know if I've got enough. Yeah, I can make another pickaxe. 
So I'll collect up as much as I can and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so this is all medium. I've picked up quite a lot um, of small deposits down here. And here is an, we've come out to another entrance. So I'm not sure exactly where we are. Let's have a look on the map. So we're all the way up here now. So, okay. And, uh, yep, it is uh, rather stormy out here. So I think I'm going to run all the way back. And uh, still a few small deposits in the first tunnel. So this goes quite the distance. Lots of stone deposits down here as well. Pretty sure I got all of the uh, all of the small iron ore deposits. There's still plenty of medium ones down here, so I can come back here with uh, with an iron pick. Get those. That's stone. Not too fussed about wasting pickaxes on stone when there's so much stone to. Uh, to pick up off the ground. Oop, did I miss one? Missed one there. Uh, bit stuck on the stalactites there. Alright. Get that one. That's stone. And it's pretty late. What's the time? It's evening. Day three of five. We should be all right. So if we're on day five, we get past a certain time. There's another small one I missed. Unless it respawned. Okay. Oh, must have missed a couple. But uh, that's quite a lot of iron. I reckon it, it must have respawned. Either that, or there was a fork I didn't see and I've come a different direction. There's another one there. And I'm hitting both from here. So I'm getting all from the small one and then it's protesting about the larger one which I'm hitting at the same time which smashed up anyway. Alright, so... Uh, this is the way I came. Alright, so... Yeah, it's getting up out of here is a bit tricky. Alright, so let's come back to these small ones. Get a bit closer. So I'll continue getting these small ones and then... Uh, and I'll come back to you in another moment. Okay, so... Pretty much got a full load out of that. Got something like over... 550 iron out of there. It's pretty dark in here. But I uh, don't know that there's much more. Uh, I do have a torch. So, on my way out, if I see any more small ones on the way out, but no, we're, we're at the entrance, so I think that's all we're going to get from it. So we're going to head back to Dong now. It's over this direction. Jeez, it's a bit stormy. And where'd it go? It's doing circles. He's gone to bed. Okay. Well, we'll wake him up. 
All right, so now that I've got the iron, what should I do? So I'm not going to read out all the dialogue. But uh, we've got a couple of recipes, an iron axe, charcoal kiln, and a smithy available. And so basically what he's saying is that uh, he's a slave. He can, uh, he can buy his freedom, but... Uh, He's working on some armour that he can sell so that he can buy his freedom but he doesn't have time to work on it because he has to, you know, do his job. So basically he's asked us to make a bunch of axes for him, some iron axes for him and uh, in exchange he'll teach us what we need to know. So... Uh, we need to build a smithy back at our own village. Let's just check that I'm heading in the right direction. Sort of. Okay. I think more in this direction. Yeah, I guess if we follow this path around. So what I'll do is I'll pause for the journey back. And I'll see you when we get back. When we get back home okay so back at the village i've worked through the night chopping down some trees which we're going to be using i suspect not sure what we actually need to build the smithy but uh, let's have a look so buildings production we do also have a mining post now um hunter's hut Fishing hut, smithy. Okay. So I guess we'll just place this over here somewhere. Expecting this is going to need logs and planks. 14 logs. And 14 planks. So what planks have we got in here? Stack of 20. Okay. We'll whack this together. Yeah, we got walls. We need planks and sticks. More planks and sticks. Okay. So we're going to need more planks. It's 11. I wish there was an auto sort button on the containers. There's a stack of 20 planks there. Alright. Keep whacking this together. Okay, so I'll finish doing these walls, and I'll be back to you in just a moment. Okay, so I've done the walls, now we've got the roof, which takes a bunch of stones, sticks, logs, planks. So I'll smack these together, and uh, angle on that's a bit weird. Alright, so 12 planks, run out of energy. Okay, so now what have we got in here? Alright, so we need clay for this. We know where to get clay. Need some more stones. We've still got a pickaxe. Still do have a pickaxe. How much clay did we need? 12. 
All right, so we're going to run up to uh, back up near the warrior's home. So I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so here we are near uh, Kengio's house on the map right here. And there's clay here. So mine some of this. Might as well get a bunch of it. Only needed a small handful, but while we're here, we may as well grab a, a whole stack. So I might just go until I break the pickaxe, I guess. So once again, I don't know if this respawns. Alright, so we just broke our pickaxe. So we'll head back home. And I'll see you back at the village. And on the way back, found a bunch of loot in here. So I'm going to take all that. I uh, could have sworn already looted that, but it could have been a different one. Maybe it respawned. I don't know. Uh, maybe it was in the previous season. But, uh, alright, we're almost back at the village. So I'll see you there. Okay, so we're back at the smithy. Got our clay. Got some stones. Pop this in. And there we go. Alright, so now we need five iron axes, which we can craft in the smithy. Uh, let's pop our hammer away. So, okay, got iron adzes, iron hammers. Alrighty, so what do we need? Wait, that's a steel axe. Masterwork axe. Alright, so we need three iron ore, planks, and straw. Alrighty. We uh, should be able to do that. Let's uh, put planks. I've got plenty of planks on me. Let's drop some of these logs off. Alrighty, so, wait, was it straw? Straw's in here. Somewhere. Could have sworn we had straw in here. Do we not have straw in here? Mustn't have. Could have sworn we had a bunch of straw. We got grass. Now we've got a stack of grass there. And we'll grab some of our iron. Let's quickly craft up some straw. Alright, so we need five iron axes. I'll make a few because I'm pretty sure we can use some in our woodcutter's hut. Probably boost production a bit. And we can use one or two for ourselves. Okay. So, in here. Craft. Axes, iron axe. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll do all 12. Alrighty, a new way of the craftsman. 
Okay. So now we need to take the axes back to Dong. But uh, that is going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.